Hi everybody, it's John here again, Tameside Handyman. So I've had a few questions through regarding my dog shower and uh, just also picked up on a, a couple of things while I was out fitting some um, taps, um, in particular hot tap. So first things first, what is included? Now it is on the website and I think I mentioned it in the last video but just to clarify, what you get is this box here and obviously everything contained in it. You get these, which are the hose, hoses that connect to the hot and the cold taps. What you don't get are the hot and the cold taps. Now, again, just to clarify, you need to have hot and cold taps to connect this to and for it to work. If you've got neither or one or the other, hot or cold, you need to have the other one installed. Now, as I've mentioned, I can do that for you, subject to the conditions on the outside tap installation information on my website. Now, what you don't want to do is obviously be ordering one of these if you haven't got both of these. So initially you need to get these installed. What you don't get is also is one of these, which is obviously a hose pipe. It's one of the expanding type. So they're, they're fantastic. They're, they're obviously really light. They've compressed down into next to nothing. So you don't get that. So let's assume that you have a hose pipe all you do is you clip it onto there, your hose pipe, and um, turn the hot and the cold taps on. And this one's got a, a, a gun type on it with variable controls on it, you know, variable settings on it, you know, the full, the shower, you know, the cone, stream, so on and so forth, which you can use for perhaps showering your dog. However, there are other uses for this. Now, that brings me on to one of the other issues with this type of hose pipe. So I fitted a, a hot outside tap today for a customer and um, I obviously told him, as I do my, all my other customers, saying, look, you need to turn this off when it's not in use, so you need to turn the isolator off inside. And the reason for that is because it's hot. Sounds obvious, um, and I'm not trying to treat anybody like idiots, but you've got children and they might come along, turn it on, and they will scald themselves. It's not temperature controlled, it's not temperature reg regulated, and if they turn it on, you know, deliberately by accident, whatever, and put the hands underneath it or, or pick the hose pipe up if it's connected, they will scald themselves. Um, so I say to them, you know, turn it off inside when it's not in use. Um, and then obviously it's over to you, uh, you know, as the customer, as an adult, to, to make sure that happens. So I then ask the question, what are you using the, the hose pipe for, yeah, the hot, for and he said, he said he'll be filling up paddling pool and uh, washing the car and you know stuff like that. I said, okay, and I said, what type of hose pipe have you got? I said, you've got the the expanding type, you know, that, that when you turn it off, it contracts and goes back, which is just like that. I said, are you aware that these have a temperature limit on them? Now, off the top of my head, um, and each one will vary probably slightly from manufacturer to manufacturer, but I think the maximum working temperature they advise is, is no more than 45 degrees Celsius. Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure that that's what this one is. So I advise the customer to be careful because 
if he has just got a hot tap connected to one of these hose pipes, he turns it on and I can almost guarantee that the temperature that comes out of that hose pipe will be a lot hotter or potentially a lot hotter than 45 degrees Celsius and it will damage the hose pipe. So not only will it wreck his hose pipe, but um, again, potentially you could have a burst somewhere along it and, and there'll be hot water spewing everywhere. So that's something else to bear in mind. That's just more of a, a heads up and a bit of a warning that if you are using this type of expanding hose pipe, check with the supplier, the manufacturer, whoever, on the side of the box and see what it says about the operating temperature. As I say, it's just more of a heads up because if you use that directly on, on the hot tap without any control over it, one, it's going to be extremely hot, and two, um, you run the risk of it damaging your hose pipe. So that's also another good reason and a good use of what I'm calling my dog shower. So it's not only for showering your dog, it's about regulating the temperature, about keeping control of the temperature and keeping it below a certain level, um, keeping it to a safe level. Um, so whilst it be nice and hot, well, warm, nice and warm, um, it won't be too hot because um, it will regulate the temperature, just like your shower. You know, you get in that, you, you don't tend to mess around with the controls too much. You just turn it on and, you know, you know you're not going to uh, get scalded because you, you've left it at the last temperature that you, you got in the shower at. So I just thought I'd bring that to people's attention about, one, about the hose pipe, the use of that, and be careful how you use them. Two, what this, you know, potentially can be used for. It's not just a dog shower. It's a thermostatically controlled uh, device to maintain the temperature. Um, and thirdly, obviously, what it is you actually get when you're purchasing my dog shower, which is just, again, uh, to reiterate, it's, it's this box and what, what's in it. You get the hose pipes here, which, as you can see, are not the expanding type. It's a, it's a different type. It's the old type, as I call them. Um, and you don't get the hot and cold taps, which you need to have, and you don't get this part. We, I'm assuming that you will have a hose pipe, and if not, obviously you'll, you'll, you'll need to get one for, to use it. Um, and you also get me to come along and install it. And when I say install it, it's really quite simple, to be honest, but um, initially that's the, that's the way I'm gonna be doing it. I'm gonna be coming out, I'm gonna be drilling at least a couple of holes, possibly four. I've only put two on this one. That's all it needs really, just to keep it on the wall, but you can put four holes in, um, but th there's, there's not much weight in it. It's just to keep it on the wall. So I'll install that. I'll make these up in proportion to where your taps are. So you might have a tap there, and the tap, these are right next to each other, obviously, but you might have a tap that's, that's a bit further away. So I can make one that's just a bit longer. So I hope that's clear if you've got any questions. And just one more point at this time, please, if you are interested, send me an email through the contact form on my website and just say that you're interested. I'm not asking for any money. I'm just getting um, an idea of who wants would like one so that I can order sufficient parts to be able to make them up and it'll be those people who get um, you know serviced first and after that once I get kind of a flow going and I get an understanding of how many people are looking to purchase this I will um, hopefully have a, a you know a regular supply of parts okay so any questions send me an email if you're interested send me an email